Hello there, my name is Thales Donizetti and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. So today what I'm gonna show here is a really quick uh, tip for those who are starting with Outreach and it's how to create a group record ID um, using uh, preparation tools, right? Because what we have here in Outreach is a record ID tool which would create basically a unique ID for your data set, uh, basically creating a key for your data set, right? But it doesn't group by specific field so how would we go by doing that you know by creating uh, a list of uh, keys per field like for example if we had if we wanted to create like an ID for every city in every state like I want an ID for uh, the cities in Alabama and then I want an ID for cities cities in in um, Georgia and in Indiana so I want to create multiple ID entries for for each state, right? So we wouldn't be able to do that using the record ID tools. What other tool we could use uh, with alternates? So one of the tools that are actually underestimated and most people don't even know what, what it does, it's this, the tile. We basically create tiles of, uh, it divides your data set in tiles, right? So there are a couple of methods that you could use, but we're going to focus on the unique value method. And the unique value method will, will do that. It basically divide, uh, split your data set into tiles based on a unique value that you define. So the unique value that I'm going to define here is state. And I'm not going to group by any columns because state is already uh, what, I, what I'm looking for here. Uh, what I'm looking for to split my data set, right? To create my tiles. So I'm gonna uh, just add a browse to here so I can visu visualize it better. And when I run this, you can see that what it does, it basically enumerates that tile. So like this first state, Alabama, we were talking about that specific state, right? So it gives it, it gives that a unique value, Alabama, a number, right? So it's the first one. And it basically creates a sequence number, which would be our ID that we're looking for. Uh, so it basically created an ID for every city in Alabama, okay? And then what it does, it, it starts over, if we go and look for like the next state, uh, and we, would, we can see Alaska. When it goes to Alaska, it, it starts over again, so it starts creating an ID for that state, and so on for every um, for every state here. Um, so this is a good way to create uh, unique IDs for uh, for a specific uh, based in a specific field grouping by a specific field using the title. Okay, there would be another way using the multi-row formula tool, but I'm gonna go over really quickly here so we can also understand, but I think this one uh, is more flexible, but it also it also takes a little bit more of, of, of logic and thinking and using the formulas to, to make it work, okay? So with the multi-row formula tool, what we would do here is we create a new field called ID, okay? And what we would do basically is we could um, use a formula to add up values um, and you know uh, basically start over every time we find a different value, right? That's what we're doing when we're uh, creating those IDs. So basically, what we would do is um, we would go over by saying. Um, row minus one of ID uh, if row minus one ID equals oh actually row minus one state is 
is not equal to um, stay. Oh, oh. Oops. Not equal to stay. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna add up. Then we're gonna add up one, two. Uh, we're gonna leave it as one, right? Else we're gonna add up these IDs and we're gonna close the F statement. So that's what we would do here. And if we run this, see it has the same effect. So basically, it's creating an ID for every city in Alabama. But when we do find there's a, a different state, Alaska, then it starts over again. That's because the, the state field is already sorted. Okay, if it wasn't, we would need to sort that the state field and basically uh, do that because it basically it's going to take into consideration um, the, 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 the position of the row, right? So that's something that you need to also look at. Okay, so that, that was my way of explaining uh, group record IDs uh, and all tricks and I hope you enjoyed it and, and, and it was valuable for you. Thank you. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thanks for watching.